Good morning, everybody. This is John from Lone Star Biogas. Today we're making a video on what we're going to make to heat the aquaponics system for the greenhouse in case of cold weather down here in Texas. We're not too far south, but you never know, and we want to be prepared just in case. The system is also going to be used for other things if we need to heat or recirculate for water. Um, this is going to be a very cheap and cost-effective system. First, we're going to go over the tools that I need to do, need to have, and use for this. Uh, first things first, safety gear, gloves, mask, we're going to be cutting and grinding, plastic, we don't want to breathe that in, save glasses, um, a piece of screen, that's going to be for the ash catch, PVC cutters, tape measure, box cutter, sharpie, PVC fittings, one inch PVC pipe, three quarter PVC pipe, a valve to control the flow of the water, hole saw to cut the hole for this stuff right here which is HDP basically it's electrical conduit it's a really thin wall we have a whole bunch of it that Jeff got for free a uh, pair of scissors some zip tie leftover sewer pipe tape and a big red bucket I got the bucket red for just for a warning for hot that's the only reason why um, I'm explaining the process to you step by step in three different videos, so bear with me. It'll be the first time I've ever edited three videos together. Uh, today, also say hi, Greta, the CEO of uh, Lone Star. I can't see you. Say hi. Hi. Uh, the CEO of Lone Star Gas Biogas is out here watching as we make the video for the first time. So, uh, yeah, no pressure there, right? All right. Next step in a second. Okay, this is uh, PVC pipes, four inch Schedule 20 sewer pipe. Uh, it was left over from before. As you can see, it's still dirty from me picking up off the ground. The pile of extra stuff we have. Um, everyone's seen the basic layout for a rocket stove. So this is what it's basically going to be. There's going to be the stove, chimney stove here. The feed for the wood. The air intake with the clean out off to the side. Uh, that's why I have the tape for. Because I'm going to mark it, cut it, tape it together. I'm only going to make two holes in the bucket, so this angle, or one hole in the bucket, excuse me, so this angle is going to be super high. That way, when the wood will slide right down and feed. Yes, I expect this to come out with some wax, hopefully from the cement form, after we're done. Uh, what I'm gonna, uh, Next up is I'm gonna, what I'm going to wrap the, around this pipe and everything, do the heating of the water for the rocket stove. Okay, here's the bucket. I have a large coil, it's approximately 20 feet, that's all I've managed to fit into, this, into a 5 gallon bucket, of this tubing. I have the zip ties so I can hold it together, because I'm going to have to pull, because this wants, unless I have it tight, like I do on the outside, right now I'm being held, it tends to put, spring around and move, because it doesn't want to be cold this tight. So I'm going to zip tie it to the size I want it to, all the way around, seal, don't mind the dogs, seal the inlet and outlet holes, which is what the drill bits are for. I don't have a drill bit for the pipe, so that's what I'm going to use to cut on the side here, the X-Acto knife for. Because all you need is a utility knife, X-Acto, whatever, Sharpie, draw your circle, cut it out, go way through. Um, I don't I'm not gonna waste a cap on this. I have a bread bag and some tape So I'm gonna put the bread bag over the end of it tape it off to prevent the cement from going inside cheap easy solution All right, the Plenty of zip ties are gonna be used to hold this in place because I don't want it bouncing around um, Some people are gonna be asking well, that's plastic. You're putting it with fire and cement Yes, I am but I will not be stopping the circulation of water until it's cool below the melting point of the plastic so that'll the water will act as a heat sink and keep the plastic from melting inside the cement not recommended but at the same time we're going to try it out and see what happens now this pipe isn't your normal pvc it's one inch uh it's external diameter but it's three quarter internal diameter and i'll show you how the plumbing setup is going to be next so up here on the table now, we have the basics of the plumbing. Initially, so this being one inch, I should have taken some of the store with me, but I didn't. I figured it'd be the same as 
one inch PVC. Well, turns out it's the same exact diameter for OD, but not ID. But what's really cool, one handed spawn, three quarter PVC pipe fits tightly inside of it. On the aquaponics system, right now I have a three quarter PVC bung screwed in place to block off for a future expansion. And one of the expansions is going to be for the three quarter PVC pipe. So, threaded valve to go in there, three quarter. That's not the right threaded valve. Oh well. Uh, flow control valve, that way we can control how fast the water goes through it. For temperature wise, if we need to heat it up faster, slow the water down, heat it up slower, let the water from free flow. So with that, uh, threaded coupling for this in case this worked. Oh, that's why that. Okay. Um, and, then, and of course, the exacto knife to cut and everything. I should be able to take the heat gun to this, heat it up, and then zip tie it to make a good seal. But if not, focus, 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 focus. If not, then um, again, heat gun it and use some hose clamps, maybe some silicone, to seal it off. All right, that's gonna be the plumbing. It basically is gonna come in the top of the bucket via like so from the fit system. When it exits the system, there's no real point in me having anything on the end because it's gonna dump right back into the sump. I'm not gonna heat the main tank because I don't want any shock to the fish, so I want it to go into the sump so it can diffuse some more. Um, Next up, we'll talk the one extra thing we're going to do for the rocket stove. Six, seven hours, check it, add more wood if we uh, on the really cold days. The, with the thermal mass being as large as it is, is for our IBC tank, 250 gallons, as long as we keep it above a certain temperature, the greenhouse will should stay approximately the same temperature as that tank. So this goal for the rocket stove is just to keep it from freezing in there and keep it at tolerable temperature temperatures for the fish. Yes, I know in the wild the fish uh, can stay down, get cold weather, you know, stuff like that. But at the same time, the water doesn't freeze down here in Texas the same way it does up north. And plants stop growing once they hit a certain temperature. Well, to keep them growing, we want to keep that temperature higher. And especially when it comes to starting seeds in the spring and it's still chilly, we can add extra heat to the greenhouse and humidity through the system and start our growing season early because we have a few acres to plant this spring and so hopefully this system will allow us to get a head start overall um the next couple of videos you'll see posted will be the actual build of this you gotta remember concrete takes at least seven days to cure so this isn't going to be done tomorrow if you want to make one of these you plan ahead we don't have any real cold weather coming for the next couple of days so we're good. I mean, it's coming on November now, but we're not there yet. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the uh, leave a message. You can contact us on uh, the email. It's in the description. Links to the green greenhouse and aquaponics build will be in the description. Um, let us know, folks.